man, it is hot today. What was hot out here, man? It is hot today. You know it's hot out. Yeah, I just said that. I said it's hot out here, man. Yeah, you know it's hot too. Yeah, that's why I said it, man. It is hot out here. Hello, welcome to Barbers Brand. Today we're gonna take a look at some numbers. <laughs> I don't know who likes numbers as much as I do. Uh, but let's take a look at numbers that explain why it's harder today to buy a house than it was uh, in the years past. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at the home buyers and sellers generational trend reports. Um, I love looking at these trend reports just because you know numbers tell a story, right? And I think they really provide some insight on you know how the market is evolving. So right here we're looking at uh, the past three years. Uh, trend reports uh, for home buyers. Uh, we're looking at 2019, 2020, and 2021. So let's start by looking at the household income of home buyers over the years. Right? Let's try to understand how has income evolved for different age groups and for different buyers uh, in the last three years. Let's start by 2019. Right? 2019 looked at the median income of home buyers from 2017. And uh, the median was 91,600. In, in 2018, it was 93,000. And in 2019, it was 96,500. So, barely a $2,000 uh, a year increase between 2020 and 21. You can see a little bit of a bigger jump, um, but a jump of you know two to three thousand dollars a year. Um, this is interesting. It will be interesting to see if the the jump has been you know the same across the different age groups. The median income has stayed the same; hasn't really changed. Uh, where we've seen the biggest shift is going to be for age groups of 30 uh, to. Yeah, 64 or something like that, from 30 to 64, not even, from 30 to 55 is where you see the biggest jump in income, right? Um, 55 to 64 kind of stays the same or increases just by a thousand. Um, so it's interesting, if you have to curve essentially over time the distribution of the rate of increase for income, um, <laughs> you would see that essentially the groups of uh, 30 to 55 got the biggest boost of income and that makes sense right these are the people that are you know middle career they still you know are moving up in their career they're capitalizing on you know 10 to 20 years of experience in whatever you know field they're in um and they're at the peak income i think there's a lot of data that shows that so that's interesting to see that also through the data that's uh, looking at home buyers now let's take a look at prices of homes purchased uh, in 2021, 2020, and 2019. Um, it's very interesting to see in 2019, the median was $250,000 per house, right? Um, the next year was 257,000 in 2020. So a $7,000 jump in the median home price. Meanwhile, incomes only grew by 2,000, I think, $3,000. Now let's take a look at 2021. Home prices jumped from 257,000 to 272,500. That is insane. So we went from a $7,000 jump to a $15,000 jump from between 2020 and 2021. Right? I hope this kind of is a simple, you know, illustration of why um, it's harder today to buy a house than it's ever been before. And I hope this, these numbers are a, you know, a clear depiction of why it's been harder and harder for homeowners to, for, you know, people to be able to buy a house. Uh, essentially, in the, in the span of two years, uh, we've seen over $20,000 increase in home prices. Meanwhile, the median income has only gone up by, you know, 5 uh, That is really interesting. Now, let's add a little bit of color to the picture by looking at, uh, home buyers currently living at rent. So essentially, taking a look at the last three years, you see out of the people that bought a house, how many of them owned the previous house, so right, maybe they sold and bought another house, or they were, you know, renting in a rental situation and then they decided to buy a house. And I think this really gives a picture of, you know, what kind of people were buying houses, you know, in the past three years. Uh, if it was first time home buyers or people that already had some wealth, you know, through a prior you know home purchase so this is very interesting you can see that 
2019, uh, 49%. Uh, of homeowners, of home buyers, sorry, uh, had previously owned their home. Uh, in 2020, that number was 48%, so a little decline there. And then in 2021, that number shot up to 51%. <laughs> Very interesting. And if you break it down a little further and you look at the age groups, you can see who's really been, you know, buying their, their second houses or, you know, whatever the, however many houses they've been buying. You can see that you know between 74 and 94, they bought they out of the buyers in that age group, they own their previous home the most, right? And this is confirming kind of the not the theory but the comment that people are making that this is you know older generations that are downgrading, downsizing to their Mac, Mac mansions and getting something a little more uh, affordable, or maybe they're relocating to a different state that's more affordable or closer to family. Right, you can see that number jumping from 82, 81, right? It's so not a big jump. And then 2021 jumps to seven, to 86. Kind of same trend for the uh, age group of 64 to 72. We go from 77 to 76 and then boom, 78%. So really they've been the ones that are making the biggest shift in selling and rebuying their house. And most likely these are the people that have been making a lot of cash offers. You know, they've got plenty of money in the bank, right? Obviously they work hard their entire life. This is all their savings, uh, the fruit of all of their labors. Um, and it creates a situation where, you know, the younger generations obviously have a harder time competing for those homes. But, uh, you know, that's just the name of the game. You know, it's a capitalist system. And, uh, yeah, it's the name of the game. <laughs> all right, this is it for today. Uh, it was just a short video to, sh um, to paint some picture and, um, you know, provide some extra numbers explaining why it's been harder today than ever um, to buy a house. You know, like we talked about, not only uh, the average income or the median income, sorry, has not been really going up um, relative to the, you know, uh, medium home prices over the last three years, but also the type of people that are making moves on the market are people that had previously owned a home and have plenty of cash to throw around, right? They can afford to upgrade, downgrade, come out with all cash offers, go above asking price. So, uh, you know, very interesting. Um, next episode, we're gonna take a look at more numbers to, to get uh, more insight on what's going on on the market. I hope this episode was useful. If you've got any questions, um, if you would like me to cover a specific topic, you know, please leave a comment down below and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.